Princess Ling Moi. You're incomparable, superb. Please come back to us soon. Thank you, Mr. Wentworth. Goodbye. Goodbye. How lovely. Isn't that beautiful? Your manager. Come in, Roloff. As always, my friends and guests of the evening, Miss Joan Marshall and her fiancé, Mr. Ronald Petrie. Ling Moy is honored. Your dancing bewitched us. May I too congratulate you? Ling Moy shall endeavor to deserve this praise. I understand you're staying at Mr. Morloff's house until you leave for South America. Uh, princess, uh, the Petries are neighbors of ours. Oh, the charming White House? Yes, the one next door. Now that you're free, I hope we may see you often. I too dare hope for it. Good night, Princess. Good night. I shall join in a moment, Petrie. Uh, right you are, Morloff. Is there any news of my father? He has arrived in London. Is he at your house? He will be there tonight. And shall I see him? Undoubtedly. Understand our key. As a special worker for Scotland Yard, you're first rate. In fact, I'm sorry that you can't join us officially, but this time you're you're barking up the wrong tree. These records prove that Fu Manchu died 20 years ago. His body was not found. He never appeared again. He's here in London. I saw him tonight. A resemblance. Perhaps. But if I happen to be right, Petri should be warned. Yes. If you are right, get me Sir John Petri's house. What? Are you sure? The telephone wires have been cut. Hobbs. Yes, sir. Get me two cars and half a dozen men. We leave immediately for the Petri house. Right, sir? I wish I could find a word to describe her. Exotic. That's the word. And, uh, she's intriguing, if you know what I mean, Father. He knows very well what you mean, Ronald. At your age, he was very much like you. Even more so, I should say. <laughs> Oh, I beg your pardon, I'm intruding. You want something, Rogers? Oh, no, sir. Well, that is, you, you see, I blundered. You what? I, well, it's my glasses. I don't see well without them. And I left them in the study when I came in here a few moments ago to get a copy of Black Beauty. But instead, I got... I've got... I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've uh, typed those notes, Sir John. Oh, very good, Rogers. I look over them at once. Yes, sir. Well, good night, all. Good night, Rogers. Good night. Sorry. That for Sir John. Very well, Flinders. Sir John, may I see you a moment, privately? Certainly, Rogers. Uh, come up to my study. Yes. Yeah. Oh, 
Splendid of clarity. I barely got round to it by the time today. Oh, really, are <coughs> Oh, yes. Yes. Uh. Oh, very good, very good, Rogers. In fact, I'd say splendid. Hmm. Now, what about your private business? Oh, well, I have a problem, sir. Oh, well, by all means, marry the girl. Oh, sir, it's not that sort of a problem. Well, not that sort? Well, uh, what sort? Well, you see, in opening your letters, I try to keep from you advertisements and that sort of thing. Quite right. And, oh, well, then, I'm justified. And thank you very much. Well, that was easily settled. Oh, well, I wouldn't have bothered you. But, you see, this was exceptional. Advertisements? Well, they must be. They're not letters. Let me see them. Oh, no, no, no. Now, I've annoyed you quite enough, and they're all really far too silly. Rogers. These are warnings of death. What? It's appalling. Why in heaven's name did you mention this before? Uh, call Sir Basil Courtney at once. Hello, hello. Oh, the phone is dead. The wire's cut. Rogers. Telephone from Morloff's place. Ask Sir Basil to come here immediately. But say nothing of this to Lady Petrie and the others. Now hurry, hurry, as fast as you can. Fu Manchu, coming here from the grave? I am here, Doctor. Already risen. <laughs> you, the murderer of my father and his father before him. What more can you want? To wipe the slate clean. May I sit down? Ah. My advanced years, you see. In the 20 years I have fought to live, the thought of killing you and your son has been my dearest nurse. <laughs> I have used my time to perfect the most ingenious death for you both. You'll never do it, you murdering madman. Uh, my first precaution, naturally. You devil. If you dare to lay a finger on my boy, if you dare to hurt, to hurt, oh, what? Ah, you feel the atrophy of the throat muscles? Hmm. A unique poison has been mixed in your tobacco. A, a most mischievous formula, as witness. You see? Your mind is completely under my control. Walk, Sir John. Is Sir John at home? Uh, yes, Sir Basil, I... Uh, uh, Hobbs, uh, you and Bentley stop here. Yes, sir. Hello, Sir Basil. Where's your father, Ronald? In the study. Oh, thank you. I'd like to see him. Why, Sir Basil, what's wrong? Oh, there's no cause for alarm, Lady Petrie. I just want a word or two with Sir John. I'll fetch him down now. Why, Father! Stop, Sir John. <gasps> Who meant you? If you love Sir John, do not shoot. The shock of a pistol report 
would kill him instantly. Oh, don't! Ah, Lady Petri, the accumulated greetings of 20 years. My beloved ones were killed before my eyes. In like manner, I shall now cancel the debt. Walk, Sir John. My first victim now descends toward you, his life hanging by a strained thread, which my vengeance now severs. You, Ronald Petrie, are the remainder of the forfeit, mm. and your life, too, is mine. Oh, Ronald, you'll be killed. Pops, after him. Sir Basil, he's dead. Bentley, Flinders, help me carry him in there. Yes, Sir Basil. Did he double back this way, sir? No. Hot. I'm going to put an extra guard round the house. You warn the local police. Yes, sir. Mr. Moloff, I heard a shot as I came through the garden. What's happened? Sir John has been killed. Master. Is my daughter here? Yes, master. Then make haste. Prepare the altar room. Bring Ling Moy to me there. The great lord awaits his daughter. Your noble father will receive you. My flower daughter. My honored father. May your days be laughing song. And may the blood of your father course warmly in your veins. For within the hour he will be gathered to his revered ancestors. No, no. I've only just found you, noble father. of the great house of food. As a child, you cried yourself to sleep over its tragic fairy story. No, at last, my daughter, the story is true. The mother and brother, murdered by a Petri, were yours. Yours is the noble house of food. Then you? I, your father, am Fu Manchu. Live, live, divine father. Infamous father. I sent you away 
into the Occidental world to keep you from me until I should deserve your homage. But instead, you now witness my shame. Great spirits beyond, I come to you crawling in the dust. Death lays his hands upon me, and my sacred work is unfinished. A Petri still lives, the dishonor is burned upon my forehead. Master, let this unworthy slave finish the sacred work. Only one of the house of Fu can redeem our honor. The blood is mine. The hate is mine. The vengeance shall be mine. My flower daughter, the knife would wither your petal fingers. Gods, my ancestors, if only thou had granted me another son. Father, father, I will be your son. I will be your son. Swear, man daughter, to deliver the soul of Ronald Petri to me, to our ancestors. I swear. Sovereign spirit, you have answered my deepest prayer. I have a son. Do not leave me, Father. Death must not take you. Yes. And my death will make you innocent in their eyes. For I shall be discovered in an attempt to kill you. Father! It will bring the boy near you in sympathy. And through the tunnel, my good servant Morloff has constructed to their house, you will have hidden approach to the hated Petri when you are ready to strike. Lu Chung. Yes, Master. Tell the armor to call for help. Say, the princess is being murdered. Master. When they enter and shoot me down, you will thank them. No! You will thank them. And now, goodbye. My son, at such a time, should know how to say a courageous farewell. Goodbye, my honored father. Track of him out here, sir. Well, what have you done? I've thrown a cordon around the house, reinforced by the local police. Well, send for some more men to increase the guard. Put some of them in the back. <coughs> What's that? <coughs> That's from your place, Morlock.
Stay down here, Bentley. See, he's through. Nick Moy, my princess, are you safe? Sir Basil, what's this man doing here? Wait. Uh, he's dead. <gasps> are you all right? Fu Manchu killed my father. And Ling Moy graciously thanks you for his death. I understand. I'm sorry. You are very kind. Ronald, thanks to our key. This is the last page of a terrible record. Father, I will. I will. Why not tear up the South American contracts and just remain here and dance with me? Could I tear up my duty too? Ling Moy, these last two months have been very, very beautiful. And I'll have terrible regrets over your going. Will you? Yes, many. Then chuck everything and stay. If I stay, would my hair ever become golden curls? And my skin ivory like Ronald's? Strange, I prefer yours. I shall never forget your hair and your eyes. It's only a passing fascination. It was fascination. Hmm. The leopard and the deer stroll too amiably together. By talking much, she learns much. The Chinese heart is very constant, Ronald. It might be sadly wounded in one of your Western affairs. Oh, but don't you realize, Ling Moy? Johnny! Oh, Johnny! All right, Joan. You let me drive you into town? Yes. In half an hour, then. Here we are, Joan. Tea's ready. Of course, it's the unspiced English variety. Oh, I don't think I'll have any, thanks, Joan. Oh, you see, just wait, dear. I promised her to drive Ling Moy into town and... Oh, you didn't bother to explain. Oh, but, Joan, I, I just happened to say I'd drive her and... It's a happy coincidence, isn't it, that you promised to do the very thing you preferred? Yes, but, Joan... Lu Chang humbly offers that the time is short. I'm aware. Perhaps Ling Moi divides her strength between duty and the advice of the heart. I'm giving him a beautiful illusion, which I shall crush. I pray that it is so, for one foot cannot stand on two boats. Lu Chang, you are insolent. I but echo the thought of your people, who demand some word from you. They are even more insolent. What shall I tell them? Tell them the oath shall be executed tonight. 
death will first awaken Petri from sleep and then end his lingering horror with a slow knife. Tell them that. That would be Mr. Aki at your door. Did he follow you from Limehouse? Oh, no doubt. But may he not call here at any time? He has been delegated to guard you and loves his work. What does he know of you? My unsavory reputation only. Mr. Aki. Lu Chung, he must not find you here. Lottery tickets. Send him in. Come in. Princess. Ling Moi is a base to be found at a secret vice. Lottery tickets. These I keep, Lu Chang. You may go. You prosper, Ruchan? It is a vile calling. I preach against it. Won't you sit down? Thank you. How did you come to know him? He came to know me with his tickets. I do not trust him. Is there danger? Hardly. I am just over eager for your safety. Perhaps a personal interest makes me so. I should not have guessed it from your quiet manner. Ling Moi, I have watched you every night at the theater silently and dreamed of our closer friendship. Let us remember, there are a few days left for friendship. With all my humble heart. <laughs>
Who are you, please? Who are you? Petri. Petri. Oh. Why, Mr. Archie? Yeah. What, whatever in the world has happened to you? Did you see anyone? No, no. Is Petri safe? Petri? Why, I... Ronald! Ronald! Are you all right now? Turn on the light. The light? The light. Oh, dear, dear, I hope I can find them. I, I don't... Won't you please tell me what happened? I don't know exactly. Roger, Alki, what's up? What's the matter? There was an attempt on your life tonight. What do you mean? Get Scott from the other at once. Yes. Oh. Aki, you're hurt. Oh, never mind about me. As long as you are safe. Hello. Hello, give me Scotland Yard. Oh, no, 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 Scotland Yard! What? What's that? Well, I have every reason for shouting. The circumstances are distinctly of a shoutable nature. What? What's that? Well, my dear young woman, let me tell you a brisk something. If you're going... Uh, will you please give me Scotland Yard? Thank you. But wouldn't you have thought that... Was I really shouting? Savadero, please. Savadero? Aki. Ronald, what is it? Sorry, Ronald, I keep up. Yes, just as I thought. Send a few men immediately. Yes, all right for the moment. Mr. Aki, what happened? There were intruders tonight, Betty Petri. Fu Manchu. I felt it. I told Sir Basil. Ling Moy. Ronald, where are you going? Fu Manchu attempted to kill her too. Aki, her life may be in danger tonight. Right, Petri. I'll go with you. Ronald, don't go out. Ronald! Oh. Where are you going? Well, I ought. I will go with them. I don't think they'll need you. Oh, but Lady Petri, I feel that to a great extent I am responsible for this tragedy and I'd gladly lay down my life. Thank you, but I think you'd better stay with me now. That's right. Those intruders might still be lurking about. If you don't really think so, do you? Princess. It is accomplished. Molov, we've got to see you for a minute. Come in, gentlemen. Someone entered our house tonight. Yes. The agent of Fu Manchu. Fu Manchu? I can't believe it. You must be mistaken. Is Ling Moi safe? Of course. There was no disturbance here. Are you sure? Ama. Ama. You know, of course, why we fear for her. Certainly. Ama. You have just been with the princess? Yes. She is sleeping. I was sure of it. That's all. Uh, I think it would be unwise to wake her. Oh, quite right. Don't alarm her. I'm posting a guard around the Petri house. If you wish, Mr. Malov. Uh... Uh, would you please? Just uh, a few men on the grounds outside my place. I'll keep extra watch indoors. Right, sir. Good night. Good night. Thank you both. Good night, Molov. Good night. Princess, at least tell me, did he die in gratifying agony? Oh, Chang! Molov, you are not permitted in my room. I take the liberty. I have just spoken to Petri. Sir! It was not done? No. You were with him? Why didn't you strike? I delayed, then heard a noise. You love him. Remember, 
Your father said that if you falter... A weakness overcame me. Uh, it is wisely written. A stupid son is better than a crafty daughter. It is written. It is written. It should be written that a slave do reverence to a daughter of the light. Night prayers. I will burn this incense of repentance at her prayers. The master provided it for the weak half of her, which is woman. I can't kill him. I love him. I would rather kill myself. Sick maiden would pour her blood upon love's altar. Death would be her release. Her petty torment would then be ended. And for the peace of this one miserable soul, the souls of her ancestors will forever burn in the fire of this honor. Ah! There is your place. Make peace with your father. Great father, give me understanding. We are not resting. We shall never rest until you kill him who remains. Ling Moy, you must kill. Forgive me, majestic father. I will. I will. Your commendable fears may rest. It shall be accomplished. Your weakness of last evening has made the task quite difficult. It is necessary only to lower Petri here. Pardon? Mr. Arki is the obstacle. It was he whom I overpowered in the hallway last night. And from this moment on, Mr. Arki and Petri will be inseparable. And if I should lower Mr. Arki away? Mm -hmm. That is the desired convenience. I have taken the oath of a son, but I shall again become the daughter of Fu Manchu and a woman. When the branch quakes, the leaf shakes, Lu Chang is bent to hear. At nightfall, then, with the aid of Mr. Morloff, we shall... Checkmate! Not rare. Well, <laughs> see for yourself, old man. Couldn't we go out in the air for a bit? It wouldn't be safe at night. Bored? Bored? Oh, not with you, Arky. Uh, Mr. Arky, Mr. Morloff on the telephone for you, sir. Morloff? Uh, yes, sir. Will you excuse me a minute? Surely. Hello? Oh, just a moment, Mr. Aki. Hello, Mr. Aki? Oh, hello, Limoy. Forgive me. I am sailing tomorrow. I called to say goodbye. 
a little more. Then I must see you tomorrow before you go. I am afraid there will not be time. But tonight then, for a moment. Ling Moi, please, I must. Ling Moi will be waiting. All right. I'll be right over. I'm going to the Moro house. Keep your eye on him while I'm gone. Oh, certainly. And uh, if anything should happen, you will phone for me immediately. Rather. I won't be long. My mistress will be here soon. She bid you wear this robe of your eastern rank. Your heart still bears the soft elegance of China. I kneel, not to our customs, but to your beauty. Come, sit beside me here. Oh, oh, oh. Have you found it yet? Yes. No! It all came of having indecently exposed the Queen. Here. Indecent's the word. Yes, isn't it? Petri! Petri! Ling Moy has been kidnapped. What's that? Lu Chang has got her. Find Aki. Aki has followed them. He says to phone Scotland Yard and raid Lu Chang's place. Raid Lu Chang's place? Very man, it may be too late. Flinders, Flinders, get my coat, will you? Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Petri, um, I trust you with this. Yes. Uh, I must go back. Uh, hurry, please. Yes, please. of course, man. Rogers, get Sir Basil. Tell them to meet me at Lu Chang's with the raiding squad. Do yes. you understand? Do you understand, Flinders? Yes, sir. They're to meet Mr. Ronald at Lu Chang's with the raiding yes, party. Sir. Telephone Miss Marshall and ask her to come here and stay with Mother. Yes, telephone Miss Marshall. I, I told you to telephone, Rogers. Well, I'm going with you, sir. I have a score to settle. Don't be absurd. Now, just wait a minute. I'll just get my muffler and a weapon. Now, make those calls, Flinders. Uh, make yes, the calls. Yes. Uh, get me Scotland Yard, please. Have you made the calls? Uh, I'm just making them, sir. Well, hurry, hurry. Yes, sir. Come on, Come on. Am I better away? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse Hurry, Sir Basil, we may be too late. Is Aki with you? No, he went ahead. He may be inside. Not too late, I hope. Why? And Rogers, go home. Not until I deal a blow or two. Look out, sir. Let me 
that way. Come on. What is there is. This looks like a false lead. That's my opinion, sir. Where's Petrie? He wasn't with me, sir. He went the other way, with Dixon. I'll call him. Dixon! Dixon! I'm in, sir. He's coming now, sir. Dixon! Where's Petrie? Why, I thought he came back up here, sir. He's been trapped. Carney, get every available man you can and follow us immediately. Right, sir. If we were always together, would not our key grow weary of everlasting beauty? No. In his paradise, he would grow fat as Buddha. If too fat, I should stop loving our key and only pray to him. Then lean in hunger for more and more of your beauty. Lean more. I cannot bear to see you go away from me. Bling boy, you do love me. Too much, Aki. Then you will let me take you away to China, to the land of our ancestors. Lin Moi, you do not answer. Is there a doubt? No. Before I answer you, I shall go to the altar and thank them for this gift. Then thank them too, in the name of Aki. Your ingenious plan, Princess, Liu Cheng, is all admiration. And this time, there will be no turning aside. And now, these clumsy fingers itch to dispose of Mr. Aki. He will be put away until we are free of England tonight. Permanently put away, of course. There is no need to kill. But we must ensure our escape. You may trust me for that. But, Princess, I I have spoken. Amma, the wine.
Heaven smiled upon our thanks. The greatness of the moment confused Saki. In this wine, we pledge our troth. Aki pledged his love and his life to Limoy. And in return, she gives the counterfeit of love. Why have you poisoned the wine and our love? It is an unworthy suspicion. What is Ru Chan doing here? What do you want with Petri? Why is he lying senseless there? One answer will serve for everything. I am the daughter of Fu Manchu. You? You will not kill him. By my sacred oath. Such an oath should never have been sworn. I tell you to release him. That cannot be. I warn you. I have a duty to Scotland Yard. Consider carefully before you leap to duty. If you try by force to leave, they will kill you. I do not want your blood on my hands. I cannot believe. But I see before me the madness of your house. Who shall search out these things, Aki? Remember only that you love me whoever I am. And I always hated the name of Fu Manchu. Forget that hate. I'm a woman. What is your hatred against our love? Against our eternal day together? <laughs> it's the triumph of irony that the only woman I have ever deeply loved should be born of blood that I loathe. Look into my eyes, Aki, and see us already sailing home to China, to the place you know where the flowers smother the bank. Would you love a dishonored Aki? Forever. And I would forever despise him. It is Petri. You honest fool. It was not for myself, but for your own life that I played at love with you. You have chosen to die. Do not his manners plead for death? Time up. But princess. Quick, Lu Chong, waste time. Take him to the attic. Seller. 
Ronald. Ronald. Ling Moy. I was afraid. Oh, you're safe then. What happened to me? Ling Moy rescued you for her own. These lights, this swimming in my brain. I've never seen you looking more softly beautiful. That's Joan. What's she doing here? What's happening to her? Answer me, what's happening to her? Can you think of her now? Why is she screaming like that? You refuse the gift of Lingmoy's heart. Very well. I will take you to her. Follow me. Joan, where are you? Joan, what is it? Mola, what's happening? Joan, my darling, what have they done to you? Oh, it's Mola. Mola! Why are you? What's the meaning of this, Ling Moy? Are you mad? Look into my eyes. Set her free, do you hear me? Never. Ling Moy, I can't believe such loathsome jealousy in you. No love now. No jealousy. Just merciless vengeance. You will understand when I tell you, Rano Petri. I am the daughter of Fu Manchu. You? Your death tonight washes a stain from my house. All right. You can do what you like with me. But why do you hold Joan? Because you must have a thousand bitter tastes of death before you die. Time up. My vengeance is inspired tonight. You will first have the torture of seeing her beauty eaten slowly away by this hungry acid. You wouldn't dare do that! Prepare. Flinders! Flinders, see who that is! Yes, my lady. Lady Petrie, has Ronald shown up yet? I thought he was with you. Well, he was. Rogers. Oh, they've got Ronald. Go upstairs and don't worry. We're going to have a talk with Mr. Morloff. Come along, Holmes. Morloff? Fall off, please. I'll go away. I'm alone. Oh. Nobody here? Nobody. Do you believe her, sir? I think Marloff is in there. Of course he is. She's a bad liar. No, no. They may be watching us. We'll go to the Petri house and work from there. Come on. That house. That house. 
That's all right, Archie. Quick. Quick. They are killing me. Killing me. Quick, you fellas. Carry him into the factory house. Hobbs. Tony. Dixon. All of you. Follow me. Quick. It is ready. Molo, revive her. Stop it, Lee Moy! In heaven's name, it's inhuman! Oh, Ronnie, don't let them do it! Anything but that! Anything but that! Stop! Ling Moy is merciful. Lau, untie his arm. The knife. Kill her. No. Oh, please kill me, Ronnie. I'd rather die that way. No, no, no. Mr. Basil, take care of Joan. So Basil, what is it? Hobbs? We've got them all, sir, except the girl and Lu Chung. Don't let her escape, Sir Basil. They disappeared, sir, as if they'd walked through the walls. Oh, nonsense. They must be in the house. Come Walk. along, Hobbs. Walk through the walls? Ronald, I know where they've gone. What on earth are you talking about? They've walked through the walls. I know where they've gone. What? That night the intruders came. I thought I saw someone disappearing. Oh, do come with me. Take care of Miss Marshall. Bring her to the house. Come before it's too late. Ronnie! Ronnie! Turn out those lights. When I shout, turn them all on. Get the battle. I'll take care of her. Let me surrender. In the spirit of the house of Fu. Ronald. Oh, Joe. Steady, steady, Archie. Flower, Ling Moy. A flower need not love, but only be loved. A dark. He loved you. <laughs> <laughs> 